Around the Fire is a behind the scenes look with chefs, pitmasters, culinarians, all connected by the certified Angus beef brand. We're in Falkton, South Dakota with six elite chefs and they're gonna get a special behind the scenes look at how beef is raised by some really special people. We're with the Hadrick family at the Hadrick Ranch in Falkton, South Dakota. I'm Troy Hadrick, so you're gonna hear lots from me here shortly, so I probably won't go into too much. Can't tell you how excited we were from the first time we got the call about you guys coming out. I think one time we'd mentioned it, said oh, years ago, told the guys at CV, hey, anytime you wanna come out, and they said, um, do you know where you live? <laughs> kind of a dream come true for us to be able to host, uh, host you guys out at the ranch here, and, and we just hope you enjoy every minute of it. What do you hope the chefs get from the time with you? You know, our hope and, and, and one of the things we're most excited about bringing the chefs out here, really just continuing to build that relationship. Um, you know, we're excited to show them the land, we're excited to show them the cows, um, but we wanted them to have this sense of family, you know, we're, we're all part of this big team. Okay, so as you meet more people in the circle of certified Angus beef, this is the people that have the final touch on what you raise, right? What are you learning from them in time with them? So I have learned a lot about what they appreciate in the product, you know, I enjoy hearing the struggles they have because, you know, that just makes me a little bit more cognizant of, you know, what they go through and, and I hope that, you know, whatever we can do on this end might help them in the future. My name is Vinny Semino. I am the chef partner of Cordelia in Cleveland, Ohio. Honestly, we've been in an incredible experience to be out here on the ranch. Be able to connect with our ranchers about our beef. Um, you know, I pride myself in the relationships that I build with my farmers, and this is just that next step. It's a team team effort on this thing between ranchers and, and then especially you guys where you get the chance to really put the final touch on it. We know that good food starts with great ingredients, and so yeah. we owe it to those ingredients to treat them with the utmost respect and make sure that they're, we're getting the full utilization out of them day in and day out. And, you know, we're, we're able to, you know, again, tell these stories about why we use it and how we use it. And, you know, all the like the, the ends of all the trim we save, we preserve, we got enough that we grind down and make it into sausages, you know. Yeah. That's all so our, awesome. All of our veggie scraps we save either goes to the stocks, or we ferment them, or you know, we turn them into, you know, different uh, pickles or relishes or whatever we can. Like it's really about showing that respect to those ingredients. I mean it feels like there's been a really nice resurgence of that effort yeah. to save all that stuff and it's yeah. fun to see and the talent that you guys have to take that stuff that was really considered kind of waste and turned it into something amazing. It's pretty cool to see. Sustainability, the word, it means different things to different people. So specifically, as a rancher, what does sustainability mean to you? Sustainability means to me just this ability to continue moving forward, continuing to keep this ranch in the family. Our sustainability story started 113 years ago with when my family came out here. Today, you know, we're looking at different things like how do we rotate our pastures better? How do we take care of the soil and make the grass grow better? And using the resources that we have better. Really evaluating you know, how our cattle react to the environment. Um, what can we do to make that relationship better all the time? Um, we have to deal with some pretty wild weather swings in South Dakota from the heat of the summer to the dead of winter. Um, but, you know, all through that, how do we continue to coexist with our environment? How do we make our cattle coexist with the environment? Use the resources we have available to the best of our ability. And I think that's what we continue to evaluate on nearly a day-to-day -day basis. The beef that we're raising does not happen by accident. I mean, every pound that we raise is very intentional. And I think that's the big thing about Certified Angus beef that I hope you go home with is that th this is intentional beef. This doesn't just, you know, we didn't just get lucky that our cattle grade the way they do. You know, the genetics versus environment. Environment wins every single time. We can have the greatest genetics in the world. If we leave them out on bad pasture, they drink bad water, we don't give them good feed. Um, they have health problems because we didn't vaccinate, we didn't do all these things they'll never be able to express that genetic potential they have, and it won't happen. 
My name is Lamar Moore. I'm the executive chef at Brownsville Winery in Chicago, Illinois. This is what it's about for me, man. This family has five generations now long in what they do. And what prides me as a chef is to be able to work closely with the farmers, be around the farmers and their family, cooking in their house, you know, eating at their house, breaking bread at home. And I was talking with this family, and it's five of them. I mean, that is amazing, you know, when we talk about them sustaining what they've done and then carrying on that tradition, you know, five generations, and now they're passing it down to their kids. So, that's what sustainability is for me. When you see these chefs in action, what are you thinking? Oh, it's mind blowing. Um, you know, I uh, to see them just, you know, take a bunch of ingredients sitting on the table and pretty soon they're just doing all sorts of neat things. And, you know, I, I'm always astounded how creative they are. Um, I've been super impressed with the knowledge they have of the product, the cuts that they know, knowing what to do with the different types of cuts, and it's like poetry in motion right there on the table. It's really fun. Our experience at the ranch has been amazing. The family is inspirational. It's a family business, and I just um, I love that aspect of it. Uh, being out here is like being in another world, and I wish everyone could actually see what they put into it. So when they're enjoying that steak, they know the hard work that went behind it. I'm here on a day off. And you know, the Hadricks, I ask, I'm like, when do you get a day off? And, and then you're thinking like, they're running a ranch. There is no days off. You still gotta feed the cows. You still gotta make sure everything's up, kept and ready to go. So just the amount of work it takes to make this place run successfully, I just admire what they all put in. It inspires me to go back and work a little harder. You know, one of my favorite things is just hearing him talk about, man, how good this tastes. You know, this is such great beef and puts a little smile on my face to know that, uh, you know, we were part of uh, bringing that to their table. I hope every time they open up a, a case of certified Angus beef, you know, maybe they'll think about uh, their time when they were out here in Falkton, South Dakota at the Hedrick Ranch and, and uh, getting to meet my kids and my wife and, and spend a little time out on the prairie with us. Hopefully we can continue to work together to just make this even better.